it's a glorious Sunday afternoon here in Cape Town. We've got live music blaring from our amazing neighbor, our Mac. So, what do we want to do? We want to throw a snook on the fire. Couldn't get more traditionally Cape than that. I have a gorgeous, um, fresh snook, courtesy of the boys at Abalobi. Abalobi is a fantastic uh, organization that supports local fishermen. Small boats go out and they're able to get their fish straight to market. We use it in the restaurant, but what they're now doing is they're supplying direct to people's homes. So if you want some fresh fish and you want to support a good cause, uh, get download the Abalobi app and they will deliver fresh fish to your door. So while the music's still playing, we have a chilled glass of wine. We're gonna head to the fire, knock up our smoked snook and a lovely spicy, limey mayonnaise to go with it in the meantime just lay back and listen to the tunes brian i've got in the go it's a salt and sugar solution with a few aromatics in it i've let it cool down i've just got some black peppercorns some cloves bay leaves and then salt and uh, brown sugar and this is just going to be a light cure we want the fish to sit in this for only an hour It'll help to firm up the flesh, but also it'll impart a nice bit of flavor. We don't want to leave this in too long because it'll get quite salty. And we don't want to cure it completely. We just want to take on some flavor and get a bit of firmness. I'm going to turn this over just so that the, the flesh sits in the... I have to say, this is the most gorgeous snook. 12 hours ago, this was still swimming in the Atlantic Ocean. It does not get fresher than this. The people at Abalobi really know what they're doing. I'm going to put this aside, and then we're going to crack on with the mayonnaise. Right, let's get into our mayonnaise. This is going to be a basic mayonnaise with some funky um, aromatics to it. Um, I've got canola oil, egg yolks, Dijon mustard. Here, some roasted garlic paste. I've just roasted a whole bulb of garlic on the fire and then squeezed all the garlic out and made it nice and smooth. Dried uh, smoked chili flakes, fresh lime. I've got a bowl of roughly chopped coriander and parsley and obviously salt and pepper. Now, you can just add aromatics to store-bought mayonnaise if you have no shame. Otherwise, do this. Most commercial mayonnaises have the consistency of genital lubricants. So, let's begin with the mayonnaise. First in our egg yolks, we get some Dijon mustard, and our garlic. This is a standard mayonnaise recipe. You could lose the aromatics if you wanted to make a bog standard one. Chili flakes in. All right, now we're just going to give this a little mix together. Okay. Now it's important that we add the oil in a very thin stream because we want to amalgamate the oil as it goes in so it emulsifies. So I need a little bit of oil at a time and make sure all of the oil is mixed in before you continue. You just want a very thin stream. Now I'm going to, it's getting quite oily as you can see. It's a lovely consistency. I need to thin that out a little bit and I'm going to do that with some fresh lime juice. If you've only got lemons, by all means just use lemons, that's fine, nothing wrong with that. Do not use bottled lemon juice, it is the spawn of Satan. We want this quite sharp because our fish is gonna be quite smoky and quite rich and we need a nice bit of acidity in this to break up that. This is looking a lovely consistency. Let's get a little bit more oil in. I'm going to have a little taste of this just to check, see if it needs some more lime juice. Yeah, I think another squeeze of lime will do the trick. And that will give it a more runnier consistency, a little, so it's not so gloopy. Right, ingar herbs. So this is Roughly chopped parsley and coriander. And now we just finish that off with some salt and pepper. 
That should do the trick. Let's have a quick taste to see how it's like. Gorgeous. Get really have that lovely zing from the lime juice. What you want is going to cut through the smokiness of the fish. And I'm just getting that slow burn from the chili. It's just coming through nicely. And you've got this lovely clean finish with the coriander and the parsley. Exactly what our smoked fish needs. So our beautiful snook is ready to come out of its brine. We just need to pat it dry. The easiest way to do that is to just put on a cloth. So I'm just, what I want to do specifically is dry the skin because I'm going to just put a little bit of olive oil on that just so that it doesn't stick to prevent it from sticking on the fire. I have to admit I'm a little bit paranoid about this fish skin sticking to to the, to the smoker, so I put them in foil. Um, if I was doing something with a hardier skin, like a yellow tail or a tuna, I would just put it straight on the smoker on its skin. There's a little bit of seasoning on here, not too much, because this has been sitting in a brine for an hour, but we do need a little bit of flavor on there. There we go. Right, let's get these beautiful sides of snook on the fire. I've got some fabulous uh, fresh bay leaves. I'm gonna put this on the fire and this is gonna give a lovely bit of smoke and a lovely, lovely flavor. So unlike the brisket that we smoked long and slow, four and a half hours at a constant 120 degrees, this is a fairly quick affair. We don't want to dry the fish out. We want to get a nice heat on it. So it's about 180, 200 degrees, probably in the smoke about 15 minutes. And we'll get a nice color on it and the fish will stay nice and moist and juicy. Fish is nice and firm, perfectly cooked. We don't want it too firm or dry. Remembering this fish is gonna carry on cooking once we've got it off the fire. Let's pick this up and take it straight to the table. If you want to put this directly onto a platter or on a board, if you try and take it off of here, I'm telling you now it's going to fall apart. This is beautiful. This is lovely when it's hot. Um, traditionally served with some nice hot bread, even some would say a bit of apricot jam. But tomorrow, this is going to be absolutely gorgeous. Flaked with a bit of kedgeree and some chopped egg or maybe even some fish cakes. Sunday in the Cape, smoked snook, it's as traditional as it gets. Thank you for watching the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the logo on the screen. Otherwise, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And of course, a last thank you to Ard Matthews providing fantastic laid-back soundtrack to the afternoon. Until next time, may the source be with you.